Welcome to client school. Hey Eric, I had a question for you. Okay. The other day somebody called in and they said, if I file for divorce, does that mean that I'm responsible to pay for my spouse's attorney's fees and all the other fees associated with the divorce? Okay, so you're saying, the person was asking, if I file for divorce first, if I'm the one who petitions for divorce, right. I'm the one that files the complaint, does that make me automatically responsible to pay for my spouse's attorney and all the other litigation and court costs? Right, that was okay. the question I was right. asked. The answer is no. no. That does not, it is not automatic that just because you filed for divorce, you will have to pay all of your spouse's uh, attorney's fees and court costs. However, you hear about people saying, well, if I file for this, or if I go after this, I'm going to ask the court to award me all my attorney's fees and court costs. Right. Okay. Well, we can talk about just how hollow a threat that is on a different video, but for now, the answer to that question is, can I be ordered later on, or at some point, to pay for my my spouse's attorney's fees and court costs, whether I'm the one who filed for divorce or whether I'm the respondent, the answer is? Yes. Yes. You can. Now, that can happen only under certain circumstances, right. okay? So that's found in Title 30-3-3 of the Utah Code. And what that will show you is that if you have the means to pay for your own attorney's fees and court costs and litigation fees and things like that, and your spouse does not because you make a lot more money, if your spouse doesn't have the financial ability, if the costs for attorneys or litigation expenses are reasonable, and you can show that it's necessary for you to have your spouse pay your fees as well as his or her own so that you can have a fighting chance in the divorce action, the court can, under certain circumstances, order you to pay for your own expenses in the litigation as well as for your attorney, the attorney, I should say, for your spouse, okay? Now, that's not very easy, as you can imagine. Even if you make slightly more than your spouse, that doesn't automatically mean you're gonna be ordered to pay. But if you've got a situation where you've been married for 20 years and your spouse is the stay-at-home parent who gave up college, gave up a career, has let all of his or her skills in the workplace atrophy so that there's nothing that that person can do without working for minimum wage and if you're clearing a good six figures or so there's a pretty good chance you're going to have to pay some or all of your spouse's attorney's fees and other litigation related costs okay so just keep that in mind filing for divorce does not put you on the hook for paying for your spouse's attorney's fees and court costs just because you're the one that decided and because you're the one that filed first Thanks for coming to Client School. I'm Eric Johnson. I'm Brian Godfrey. Thanks for watching this, and we'll make some more for you.